we're now going into the old billiard room, which is now our exhibition room in the house. Uh, it gives us information about the families that used to live here, the Nicholson family, Nettlefold family and Wheelock family. You have now arrived at the guest, Keen and Nettlefold factory, East Street. The Nicholsons, who were the last owners, uh, left the house and garden to the university in 1944 and we've got some pictures here of the Nicholsons having tea on the terrace and then on the screen here we've got some lovely pictures again rotating the family in the garden and a bit more information about life at Winterbourne. Winterbourne today this really shows us items from uh, university collections here the uh, Danford figures and we've also got some uh, rock quartz there from the Lapworth Museum and a book from uh, Special Collections here, which is a, a Kelmscott publication called The Shepherd's Calendar. Now we're in John's study. This is uh, a real sort of masculine room with these deep red colours. His books are uh, across the back there. And John, although he worked for GKN, he wasn't really fond of working for the family company. His real passion, his real interest lay in social reform and housing reform. And he actually coined the term town planning. Um, he also designed Moorpool Estate, which is just down the road in Harbourn. And many people live at Moorpool, come and visit Winterbourne, and they can even find their house on the, on the little map here. We've also got more oral histories on the phone, so we can pick up the receiver on the phone and dial numbers, and then we can listen to someone's experiences of living at Moorpool. Would you mind answering my phone if it rings? No doubt it will be something to do with Moorpool Estate. Okay, we're now in Margaret's room. It's the lady that has Margaret Nettlefold. What we have here is this uh, interpretation screen, which is just a touch screen which we can press um, and we can actually open up Margaret's diary. So this is an everyday diary. And if we touch the tab on the right, we can turn the pages. The interesting or pertinent bits we've got highlighted and they're in uh, regular text on the left hand side so you can pick out bits of information. What's nice about this is it means there's an awful lot of information that is accessible to visitors to Winterbourne that wouldn't be accessible to them otherwise without this technology. Mm -hmm. 